Hello and welcome to a Wild Dog Technologies production, or just a video, if you prefer. That was a very pretentious intro, I'm sorry. This is the laptop I will be reviewing today, and overall this thing has been an absolute misery to use. It it is not nearly the kind of laptop you would want to use in most situations. However, if you got this, if you got a laptop like this for what I got it for or less, I got this for $15 at a thrift store. For what it's worth, most of these laptops are okay. But for general daily usage, they're fine. Overall, they're fine. However, for gaming, they're very, very poor. However, all that all said, this is not a gaming-focused channel. This is a general usage-focused channel, with a little bit of gaming here or there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this $15 Core 2 Duo for about five minutes. About five minutes. See what I can do. See what I can find. Now, YouTube. Will YouTube function? YouTube will function. It's not perfect. It doesn't exactly work perfectly in many regards. Let, uh, uh, let's try to watch this video by Austin Evans for like. 30 seconds. Hey guys, this is Austin, and today Ken and I are going head to head. He has purchased some of the most expensive gaming. No, it will not work, especially while you're recording. This is the main problem with the Core 2 Duo multitasking is very, very weak. Multitasking on these laptops is so poor that it really can stress this old Core 2 Duo out a lot. A lot of the time you're going to be pegged to close to 100% CPU usage at all times, and when you're not pegged to 100%, you're going to be running out of RAM. The memory and the actual processor are not, poor, are not too poorly matched, but they're not well matched. For general usage, I rate this okay. It's not a bad, it's not a bad experience going through Windows 7. However, Windows 10 is too heavy. And on top of that, driver support is terrible. Overall, it does not justify using one of these laptops for anything other than basic tasks. Word processing, as you can see, is actually pretty okay. But it does not justify using them to a attempt a game. It does not justify using them to really do anything heavier than watch a YouTube video and maybe do some text at once. In fact, I bet the recording on this looks absolutely terrible. And, well, I know it does because it defaulted to 7 something by the 720 by 450, which is 50% of the resolution of the screen. So, I believe this is going to look absolutely awful. But there we have it. General usage on the Core 2 Duo is okay. It's not fantastic, and the fact that I'm recording this makes it a whole lot worse. So, would I recommend getting a Core 2 Duo laptop at this price? Yes. At $15, I would recommend this. But at any more than 15 or actually any more than 30 
I would recommend looking into a old beat up Core Core i3 maybe, or an or a uh, Pentium dual core from around 2010 to 2012, because those will be infinitely better. The P8600 is it's a relatively okay CPU with a fast enough front side bus, but the Core 2 Duo and the fact that the most Core 2 Duos are limited to DDR2 memory, especially in laptops, makes it kind of a hard sell. Now, this specific Core 2 Duo can be upgraded to a T9900, but not that that will make too much of a difference considering the benchmark scores are fairly similar. Now, there we have it. it I'm a, I apologize for most of my stuttering and all that. I did not actually make a script for this video. I felt like doing this video offhand. So, you all have a good one, and this was Wild Dog Technologies. Like and subscribe if you liked the video, if you didn't, uh, dislike it, leave a nasty comment, whatever. And have a good rest of your day.